Okay, boys, so a crazy 300,000 coin squad builder for you guys to use. Let's get into it. If you guys need some coins for Foot 21, go to the website u7buy.com. They have the cheapest and the most reliable Foot online coins. Make sure you use my code NERDFIRE and check out for 5% discount for your order. Link will be in the description. Make sure you go over there now if you want to kick off Foot 21 with the best team possible. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title today, I'm going to be showing you a brand new squad builder. I've gone ahead and created this team for you guys, a team that I think is very, very good for the amount of coins. So I'm going to obviously show you the players in the team, the custom tactics, the instructions and obviously the formation that I also changed to in game with this because I don't actually play with the original formation that you'll see soon. But if you guys want to see any more squad builders, make sure you guys smash the like button and let me know in the comments the next one you want to see, the amount of coins etc that you want to see obviously i want to help you guys towards for champions and building a good solid team you can use and hopefully get the highest rank with it possible so yes what we're going to do first is i'm going to go ahead and show you each individual player within the team then i'll go ahead and obviously show you the rest and then also at the end we'll obviously get into some gameplay with the team so let's get into the players and i'll see you guys there Okay, so going into the first player of the team, which is obviously the goalkeeper, we've gone for Courtois. Honestly, I use this guy in my main team currently as well. He is probably the best keeper I've used on this game. He's really, really good at just shot stops overall. And he just seems to be the best one I've used. I've used Alisson. Alisson's decent as well, but I just feel like Courtois is that kind of to Stegen status keeper this year. Probably to Stegen is still really, really good, but Courtois is definitely up there in terms of keepers on this game. Then on to the right back, we've got Mr. Hector Bellerin. Obviously got a bit of pace about him. That's what you always need, especially on your full backs coming against these pacey wingers. He's always decent at the start of the game, fits in his squad perfectly and very, very solid at right back. Then on to the right centre back, we have got Fernandinho, as you can see here. Um, obviously not the fastest, so I threw a shadow on him. I'd recommend that definitely for the pace increase. Bit of a defensive increase. I mean, his defensive stats are already good, but mainly for the pace. However, his defending stats are really, really good. As you can see, his slide tackles, his interceptions, his stand tackles, his defensive awareness. So his positioning is really, really good in defense. And he actually plays very, very well there. So that is the right center back for the team. On to then the left center back. One of my favorite center backs once again, just like last year, Edo Minatau. He's pacey, he's strong, he's agile. I mean, agile in terms of a defender but Minotaur once again incredible obviously a strong link to Courtois in goal and have him also once again in my main team and he is absolutely solid then the left back of choice for this team is indeed Mr. Alex Tellez as you can see here very very solid obviously he's got a Man United card right now he's extinct you could use that it doesn't really make a difference for this particular team very very good on this game he's always pretty decent on FIFA uh, 85 pace 79 defending that amazing that's 83 passing as well got good a shot for a defender and also decent dribbling so, so a very solid left back choice. Then on to the first centre mid of the team, Marcos Llorente, one of the most hyped players going into this FIFA, and he's pretty much lived up to it. Um, in this formation, you'll see he plays in centre mid, uh, 84 pace, 81 dribbling, 74 shooting, 78 defending, 79 passing, and 82 physical. A very good card overall. As you can see, there's pretty much nearly everything is strong green, bar some of these yellows that are thrown in there. I mean, free kick accuracy, etc. You don't need to trick him on that. Volleys, you don't need to do. Penalties aren't important. Balance, maybe a little bit, but he's still very, very solid. Heading accuracy is not the greatest and jumping, but he's tall enough to win headers. He's six foot and he's an absolute unit in midfield. Really, really enjoy using him. Then on to the central centre mid, we've got Mr. Fred. Once again, an absolutely incredible starting midfielder on this game. Uh, his tenacity, interceptions, uh, just his overall agility in midfield as well. Really, really good, especially at the start of this game. Definitely very, very usable and 100% deserves to be in this team as a crazy good player. Then on to the left centre mid, obviously not a centre mid and probably would cost a little bit for the position changes but that is Texera as you can probably guess he's not going to stay at centre mid very very decent strike at the start I mean he's four star four star five foot nine got good agility decent balance his finishing is good his pace is good and works very well in the partnership that you'll see in a minute then on to the right wing we've got Mr. Porto this guy's got a very nice card very very rapid in game really really good on the ball really agile I mean it only says 81 agility there but he definitely feels better than that in game good stamina uh, his shooting's 
decent passing, dribbling. He's got everything. He's, he's honestly really, really good. His height as well definitely helps him out. He's got that low center of gravity. The only thing he is lacking is skill moves, but in the formation that we are using, you don't really need it. And also a lot more basic skill moves are available for freestyle skillers now. And the four-star weak foot definitely helps out for finishing. Then the striker, the default striker of choice for this team is indeed Mr. Gabriel Jesus. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot, lets him down a little bit, but we do play him on the right-hand side of a two-striker partnership. Um, if you go into his attributes, I mean, Jesus is always good. 91 agility, 90 balance. He's got good pace. His finishing is good. Very, very good striker. Always to go with at the start of FIFA. And he does a solid job. And then last but not least, the 11th player of the team, Mr. Douglas Costa. 93 pace, 90 dribbling. His shooting is not the greatest, but 79 passing. Um, Five-star skills, three-star weak foot. It's nice to throw a five-star skill in there. That's why I threw him in there. There's a few other options you could go with uh, that you'll see in a sec. But Douglas Costa, five-star skiller. It's always nice to have a bit of flair in the team. So yes, that is the 11 players within the team. I'm going to go ahead and show you them again now. So as you can see, there they are in the flesh, starting in the 4-3-3 formation. So that is the formation we do start with. And like I said, we do change in game because obviously Texera is not staying at center mid and we do switch players about. So let's get into the custom tactics of this team and I'll show you what we change to in game. Okay, so on to the custom tactics. We do go on to the 4-4-2 formation. Honestly, this seems to work out for me and my main team as well. This is a formation I go with and also same tactics in this team. I've just got balanced on defensive style. Uh, balanced on defensive style. I haven't changed anything yet. I just want it balanced and basic and just it works. So on the defensive style, obviously the width is five and the depth is on five. And then on offensive style, we've got width on five, players on the box in five as well. Corners on four, free kicks on four. You know, you want as many people in the corner to try and score from a corner and also free kicks. You know, you want as many people as around to give you the best chance of getting a goal. So that is basically the custom tactic. It's pretty basic, nothing advanced. It seems to work out very, very nicely. So like I said, we do switch to the 4-4-2 in this tactic and I'll go ahead and show you the placement of the players now. So as you can see, the back four and goalkeeper are the same. Then onto the left midfield, we have Douglas Costa. Right midfield is Portu. Left centre mid is Fred. Right centre mid is Lorente. Then we've got left striker as Texera and right striker as Gabriel Jesus. So that is how we lay out the team in the formation. Now if I show you the instructions that I use for this formation as well. In terms of the defenders wise, I've just changed up the fullbacks and they are both on just the basic stay back while attacking, just like usual. Then on to the midfield, the left mid and the right mid are on just basic default settings. However, the centre mids, both of them are on cover centre and I've got Fred on stay back while attacking because he's more of the defensive midfielder for this team for me. I feel like Laurent is a really good box to box. I want Fred kind of, you know, filling the gaps, winning the ball backs getting the interception so he's a little bit deeper Laurente's the box to box he's got stats to go up and down and that seems to work out very very well and then onto the strikers we've got them both on stay forward and then I've also got Texera on getting behind he's a little bit more of a pacey striker so Jesus can lay it off to him and he can use his pace to get down and hopefully score so that's what I've gone for in terms of the overall instructions for this team so that pretty much covers all the bases for what you need for this team and like I said it works out pretty well um some of the changes that I would make if you guys have a few more coins is probably maybe switch out Fernandinho if you can get someone else in there with a bit more pace but at the moment he does quite well I mean further down the game he definitely will be a bit harder to use and also like I said the left wing you can go for anything if you need to save a few more coins you could probably go down to like a Felipe Anderson or pretty much any Brazilian left winger you can put in this team and it will work for chemistry so yeah there we go that is indeed the squad builder so like I said what we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to go ahead and get into a game see what we can do with this team try it out with the tactics etc so I will see you guys when we found an opponent and we can get into this game all right so we found an opponent and his team is pretty basic one like I said we are in the uh like online matches just classic match on online friendlies so hopefully we can prove what this team can do against this guy, but let's see what we can go ahead and do. All right, let's go to the 4-4-2 and let's put this 300k team to the test. Here we go. Texera. <gasps> Lorente. Lorente, what a challenge. Oh, it's a save, surely. Oh, hey, let's go. 1-0. Gabriel Jesus. Unlucky from Lorente. Good save from, I think it was Onana and goal. But then Jesus finishes up and gets us a goal. Fred, drill it in. Nice. Lorente. Nice. And again. And again, Gabriel Jesus across goal. Oh, that is a finish. Top left corner. Gabriel Jesus makes it. 2-0. Two goals from him. Beautiful. And I think we may get a rage quit right now. I'm not sure. And we do. All right. So what we'll do is we'll get ourselves into another game and see what we could do there as well. And maybe it'll be a bit more of a challenge. Let's get into it. All right. So our second opponent's team is 
Once again, not the most expensive, not a bad starting team. He's got the likes of Anzu Fati in there, Hector Herrera, Condogbia, Porto's in his team as well that we've got in ours, Canate. Not too sure the left centre back is, but overall, not a bad team. Let's see what we can do against it with our 300k team. All right, here we go. Let's go into the 4-4-2 and let's see what the boys can do. Go on. Jesus. Okay. Jesus again. Oh my. Gabriel Jesus is finishing. He's feeling beautiful right now. Porto. Good strength. Over the top. Gabriel Jesus. How have I missed that? That was an incredible ball from Porto, but somehow Jesus missed that header. I don't know how. Can he play the ball in? Well, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Texera's still got a hold of it. He's got a good agility. Spin him. Okay, I've done the wrong skill. Oh, that's a penalty. Is it? Or a free kick? I don't know. Okay, it's a free kick. Tellez on the free kick. So, can he do a good one here? We're going to go for a knuckleball. Alex Tellez. I think that just hit the crossbar. That was close. Okay, I've somehow still got that. I don't know how. Lorente, though. Out to Texera. Heel to heel. Texera, surely. Oh, that is beautiful. Lovely heel to heel to put himself in the position to score. 2-0. Good finish. Nice from Lorente. Good ball through. We'll take it. Go on. Play that forward. Texera. Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Gabriel Jesus. Let's go for the chip. Oh, and he's put it in. Jesus with another brilliant finish. 3-0. That's what we like. What a chip. Chips are so good this year. Make sure you use them, especially if people bring their keeper out. Very effective way of scoring so far. Oh, that's a ball. That is a ball. What a save, Courtois. Honestly, Courtois is an incredible goalkeeper this year so far. He is brilliant. Fred. Fred. Oh, Fred. Fred winning the ball back is brilliant on this game. Just like real life, actually. He's really good at winning the ball back. It's usually just his end product. Never mind, though. Jesus. Surely a cross goal. Gabriel Jesus is not going to miss there. 4-0. I think that's a hat trick for Jesus in this game. One for Texera. He's not missing. When he's in that area, I'm telling you, Jesus is not going to miss. Oh, I've dragged out Militao again. Bad from my side, not from him. Fernandinho, what a challenge to come across. And Courtois to collect. That is beautiful. Fernandinho doing that covering there in the space. Coming across, making the challenge. That is what you love to see. Across to Lorente. Lorente carried his forward. Out to Porto. Uh, he's just passed to himself and we scored still. You know what? We'll take it. I literally played a through ball there to Porto. He's passed to himself, kept on to it at least, and then scored. So, I mean, we'll take it. 5 no up. Team's doing good so far. Jesus needs to make a bit more of a run. Maybe I put him uh, getting behind for Jesus. Plays the ball in. Oh, my God. What a ridiculous finish from Jesus there. That was insane. Okay, 6-0. Best finish of the video. Okay, I think we may have another rage quit here. Um, after that, Jesus finished. I don't blame him. I actually want to look at that one more time. Here we go. So Fred carrying it forward, knocks it through on the half folly into the top left corner. Brilliant finish. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, there we go then, guys. That is going to wrap up the 300k squad builder. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out. Um, it may even just inspire you for a different idea of what you can do in a team. Maybe you just want a few changes to your team and you've gone ahead and used some of these players. But the aim of this video was to go ahead and show you a good balanced team that should do you fairly well at this stage of the game and should hopefully do very, very nicely at the start of the Foot Champions Weekend League to get you then some more coins from rewards. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy it and you found it helpful, make sure you smash the like button. Let me know in the, in the comments any future squad builders you guys would like to see for a coin amount, etc. Or skillers, you know, nation, league. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.